go. I don't know. Hey, welcome back. We're talking to best-selling author Brett Blumenthal. She's here. She wrote this book, Get Real, Stop Dieting, which I think is a great thing. We kind of follow the similar thing to what you're preaching as well. There's, you can't diet. Diets just don't work. You right. have to change it's not sustainable. Your life. Exactly. So what, were you heavy at one point? You don't look heavy. No, I was not. Okay. But so, you, you She has many, many degrees in fitness. She's That's like, terrific. you know, from Cornell University and everything else. She knows everything there is to know about keeping your body. And, you know, so many people, I, they're, they're all these diets where you just put in the sugar substitutes or you exactly. eat this. Exactly. They try to they try to get away with something that's not natural, but it's really not helping them in the and, long run. And that one of the biggest things you can do, if you just eat real food and something that's natural, your body will lose weight? Exactly. I mean, that's what the book is about. It's five simple rules, which basically says, you know, if you follow these, you're going to lose weight naturally, okay. and you're not going to need to diet, and you're going to be able to maintain a healthy weight for what life. Are, what are some of them? So uh, keep it whole, keep it natural, simple, which you just mentioned. Okay. Um, so eliminate those processed foods. Also, um, focus on fiber. Most Americans get five to ten grams of fiber a day, and we're supposed to get twenty-five. 20, yeah, that's, that's so. I mean, like that's huge. a huge difference. And like, fiber can be found in real food, exactly. fruits, veggies, but, exactly. Uh, but even in your choice of cereals, you yep. can find way more fiber in certain oh, cereals. Oh, absolutely. Like I do kashi goline. Yeah. There's weight. There's like as much fiber in there as like two eggs on a on a you know on a breakfast plate. So it's, it's, I don't <laughs> and know if it's total, that much. which is another brand, it's amazing because everyone thinks it's so good for you. It actually is so. So many bad ingredients. So many bad ingredients. You got to yeah. really, but and you know, the first thing, um, one of the cereals I was using, Fiber One, it's got aspartame. Oh in it. yeah. And yeah. I'm like, what? Where I didn't even know my cereal, cereal has aspartame in it. This is actually okay. a Nature's Path cereal. Okay. We're so gonna we're going to start this. here. Let's we're talk about this. Oh, we'll start over here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So these are four um, ways to cut calories. Okay. And there are lots of things you can do, but I really wanted to focus on more of an additive approach because don't want to be depri depriving ourselves of things. So the first thing is really simple. Before every meal or snack, have a glass of water. Yep. And a lot of people don't like water. So I, I say, hate water. you don't hate water. Soda hate water. water. <laughs> soda, soda water like with like some lemon um, or infused water. You can put uh, this right here is cucumbers and it's really refreshing. It tastes better than just plain old water. But you can do raspberries, you can do yeah. blueberries, you can do any type Anything of fruit. Anything you, you like. I have to tell you a funny story. We were out to dinner over the weekend in Maine on Saturday and they serve cucumber water. Isn't and it you, nice? I, I cannot stand cucumbers. <laughs> so I was the only guy at the table. I said, can I just please have some regular water? He's like, Oh, All right, geez. and he had to keep coming over with two things of water filling up our thing. Anyway, but, but you can I do also feel fruits. like when right. you have the uh, the soda water, it feels like you're having a soda. A soda, and yeah. it's better for you than diet soda for sure. All right, okay. so and we, what do we have here? Okay, so the second one is to eat whole fruit instead of juice. A lot of people grab a juice in the morning. 110 calories, three to four oranges. 0 to 0.5 grams of fiber. So you're not really doing anything for mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. The whole orange is only maybe 45, 50 calories, 2 to 4 grams of fiber. So it's going to really fill you up much more and longer than juice. You know what I had for breakfast this morning? I had an orange and I had my egg beaters. Good job. And I good two for oranges you. a day. Yeah, so that's exactly. Good. That's something else you talk about is having some lean protein in every meal, four to five times a day. Exactly. He, he eats everything. I'm just don't mind okay. this. I hope that's you don't okay. mind. No, it's, I'd rather you eat it than you exactly, know right. throw it out or something. All right, this is a basket of And this of is your goodness. club soda. Thank don't, you. Don't lose that. So the third one is to eat fibrous vegetables, and I emphasize fibrous because um, a lot of people think potatoes and yams and all these things are mm -hmm. great for you, and they are, but they're high in calories. These are going to be really low in calories, and they're going to fill you up. So yeah. have a salad before your meal. Have a side of um, spinach or something with every meal so that you're filling up with pretty much low calorie foods. And what I like about the book, again, it's Get Real, Stop Dieting. In there she makes it easy because you actually write down the brands that are healthy yep. and you give grocery lists so people can exactly. just go out and say, okay, this is what I do. Because it's overwhelming when you first start, mm. but those small changes can make a big difference. Right. What is this? Because I want to get to this. Okay. Part. The last one is plate size. Believe it or not, this can make a big difference. A professor at Cornell did a study where they said 10-inch uh, plates, 12-inch plates. People ate off of both. People who ate off of 10-inch plates ate 22% less calories. Yeah. So in in this bowl, it's, a, it's one cup of cereal. This is two, two plus cups of cereal. So you can see just by the size of your plate. So go with the smaller plate. Go with the smaller plate. Now, uh, here's another rule of thumb. If you're eating more than a cup of cereal in any one <laughs> sitting, you're doing it wrong. And a cup doesn't look like a whole lot because we're so used to going de -de 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 exactly. with the box. I like to fill it up after there's milk well, left. <laughs> and put, you know what I do? I, put, I do the thing and then I add fresh fruit. I add a, a blueberry nice. or a raspberry or a banana, which isn't so great compared to the other fruits, but it fills you up and you've got something else to look forward to in the bowl. Exactly. We'll be right back. You're watching the Better The book is called Get Real and Stop Dieting. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>